damn it! The sun rises on the northwestern. What? Five zero. Fifty. Just to talk like a normal human being, not like the green giant. But that's good. I'm glad you're excited. <laughs> Captain Sig Hansen and crew have been grinding nonstop since pulling their first pot 36 hours ago. This 24-hour business is actually paying off. No, rolling like a freight train. And we decided to do the 24-hour rotation. It just made sense for this season. And uh, everybody's had their rotation in their bunk. We're running for two days now. A sore. For deck boss Edgar Hansen, it's not just the brutal hours. All I can really do is no handles, no lifting, no shots, no hook throwing. It's his deteriorating back. You just got to deal with it, man. Make do and get by. What else are you going to do, you know? The tanks are filling up. Ugh. But the captain is running on empty. I haven't been to bed since yesterday morning. Sometime, I don't know, it's well over 36 hours now. How's Captain Sig doing? Is he getting a little... Yeah, he's a little loopy, full tired. I heard him on the lawn. He was like, what? Fishing's been phenomenal. And you get focused. And when you're focused, you can stay awake. He's been up for a long time. We've all already gone through a row rotation. And I think he was up before we even started the rotation. So he's probably looking at a good 30 hours. He's going to be up for another 12, because it's daylight now. What the f is going on here? And the last thing the exhausted skipper wants to see, the fleet moving in. Yeah, there's more boats moving up the line here. I think he may be setting. Okay. Keep going. We are on crab. Boats are definitely moving in. If you want to keep what you found, you got to be aggressive. I'm going around the clock. I don't care. It's a grind. It's starting to get delirious. But the pods oh, yeah. keep coming up. Full, 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 full. Now, this is really something. The Northwestern has fished for two days nonstop to stuff their tanks before the fleet moves in. Guys are moving up, though. That's the thing. I see boats coming up all the time. Ugh. Ooh. When we set this string, it was clear as a bell. And today, it's just uh, crisscross with gear. About 22 boats on 12 miles. That's a lot of boats. It's kind of under the gun, you know. We're trying to beat all these boats. Set it when you're ready. Stake our, stake our claim, you know. Make this area our own for now. We want to go in with the boat full to save time. And the only way to do that is to pull gear. The only way I can do that is to stay awake and make it happen. Captain Sig Hansen landed on the crab 48 hours ago. <laughs> He's been awake ever since. I want those crab. I want this boat full. Just that simple. I'm OK. I'm not as OK as that guy up there who's been up for about 48. And that's really hard to be up uh, in the wheelhouse, because you're just sitting there. It's warm. Uh, uh. You're just staying awake. That's all you're doing, you know? Fill this boat. That's what we got to do.
to our last, the last pot in this string. Between strings. Oh my God, <laughs> too old for that. The crew will get a five minute breather. You don't need that now. But the captain powers through. Sig has got crab fever right now. He's gone. He's a psycho. You gotta bring these nine pots in. 56 plus 12. Ooh, ding, ding, ding. She was starting to fade here real quick. Guarantee. Guarantee either he asked me for help or we make him go to bed. One of the two. I'm gonna have a crab fishing intervention. I think I'm, I'm starting to, I'm starting to zonk. Yeah, six said uncle. I knew it would come. It only did it for so long. I don't see the next pot. After two straight days at the helm, Take it. the captain finally gives up his chair. 